Hello students, how are you? I hope that all you are safe and fit at your home. Uh, students, in the previous class, you have to learn that uh, what is the meaning of reproduction and methods of reproduction, uh, what is the uh, asexual reproduction and what is the sexual reproduction. Now, today we are going to our next topic of this chapter, sexual reproduction. Uh, student, you have to learn in the previous class uh, those reproductions in which both parents are involved, male as well as female, in which male form primary sex organ, this is known as testis, and female form primary sex organ, this is known as ovary. Testis, testis is the male primary sex organ, whereas ovary is the female primary sex organ. Testis and uh, ovary produce gametes. Uh, may, testis produce male gamete, this is known as sperms, whereas uh, uh, ovary produce female gamete, this is known as uh, ova or egg. So, in short way or in other words, we can say that uh, sexual reproduction is a process in which a fusion takes place between male and female gametes. Male gametes and sperm and female gamete is uh, ova. This is known as sexual reproduction. Clear it? Sexual reproductions involve di uh, uh, disexual morphism in uh, human beings in which male and female uh, look or differentiate from each other. Male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ. Male reproductive consists of one pair of testes, spermatida, and third is penis. Look, see here, students. This is the, a pair of testes. One pair of testes is present in male. And testes are surrounded by the structure which is known as a slaughter sex. Inside the slaughter sex, the testes is present. Uh, uh, it's uh, lower than the temperature 1 to 3 degree centigrade. So, and uh, this temperature is uh, better for the growth of uh, sperm. So, clear? From testes, uh, ducts and rises, which is known as sperm ducts and also known as vasa deferens, which carries sperms from testes to seminal vesicle. This is the bladder where urine is stored. From bladder, uh, penis arises and penis is the erectile organ or ejaculatory organs. Penis secretes urine as well as sperms. Penis ejaculate sperms inside the female body. Clear it? Now, female reproductive system. Female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovary, second oviduct, and the third is uterus. So this is this is the pair, one pair of ovary here. And ovary, ovary releases an egg, and the releasing of egg from an ovary is known as ovulation processes. Clear? And from ovary, a duct like structure arises, and duct like structure is known as oviduct, and oviduct also known as fallopian. Tube. Fallopian tube, uh, inside the fallopian tube, fertilization takes place. So, what is the main function of fallopian tube or oviduct where fertilization takes place? And what is the function of ovary? Ovary, uh, ovary raises egg. Clear? And uterus. Uterus is the pear shaped structure. So in, in other words, so both oviducts lead into a bag like structure, a pear shaped structure. This is known as womb or also known as uterus. Where? After fertilization, zygote is formed, zygote convert into embryo, and embryo embedded in the uh, uterus, clear, where further developments uh, take place, and embryo convert into fetus is also take place in the uterus, clear it, so in other words, uh, male reproductive system consists of a one pair of testes, so now question arises, what is the function of testes, testes produces sperm, another function of testes is testes, uh, produces male sex hormone and these male sex hormone is known as testosterone so, which are responsible for the secondary sexual character like we are now developing uh, male, uh, male clear and female reproductive system consists of one pair of ovary, oviduct and uterus ovary, ovary what is the function of ovary ovary release an egg and this process is known as ovulation Further, ovary secret uh, female uh, female sex hormone and female sex hormone is known as uh, uh, estrogen as well as uh, progesterone. In short way, or in other words, ovary secret two types of uh, female sex hormone, in which one is known as estrogen and second is uh, progesterone, and both are responsible for secondary sexual character and also help in conceiving pregnancy or maintaining pregnancy. Clear it? Now. 
Next, what is the male gamete? Male gamete is known as sperms, which uh, produce by testicle or which produce inside the testicle. Sperm consists by three parts, in which one part is known as head, second part is known as middle piece, and third part is known as tail. What is the function of head? What is the function of middle piece? And what is the function of tail? Listen carefully. Male gamete, sperm is a mobile. Clear? Which can locomote from here and there or inside the female body. Uh, whereas uh, uh, ova, ova uh, uh, doesn't take uh, doesn't follow locomotion uh, because it is immobile. Uh, sperm uh, head. Head consists by two parts in which one is known as acrosome and second is the nuclear. Acrosome help in the penetrate of egg membrane. Here a nucleus, nucleus transfer genetic materials for uh, developing offspring so, or, or transferring genetic material into offspring. Here second part is known as middle piece inside the middle piece a spiral form of mitochondrion is present which provide energy in the form of atp for locomotion clear and tail tail help in locomotions and which receive energy by mitochondrial which present in the middle part of sperm so in other words sperm consists by three parts head head consists of acrosome and nuclear second part is middle piece middle piece uh, function of middle piece which provide energy due to the presence of mitochondria mitochondria arrange in spiral form and third what is the function of tail tail help in locomotion of uh, sperms that's why sperms enter into the vagina of the female body during copulation clear now our next Next topic is fertilization. What is the meaning of fertilization? So, clear. The fertilization is the process of fusion of male and female gametes. Male gametes is a sperm and female gamete is ova. That means we can say that fertilization is a procedure of fusion which take place between male and female gamete and which take place between sperms. Sperm is a male gamete and ova. Ova is a female gamete. Fertilization are of two types, internal fertilization and external fertilization. Listen carefully. If fertilization takes place inside the female body, inside the vagina of the female body, this is known as internal fertilization. Internal fertilization, uh, internal fertilization takes place in human being, cat, dog, cow, rat. Here, there is external fertilization. External fertilization are those fertilizations which take place outside the female body or it requires water for the procedure of fertilization, for the completion of fertilization. It takes place in fish, frog, toad, starfish or other aquatic organisms. This is the main difference between internal fertilization and external fertilization. Internal means inside the female body. External means outside the female body. What happens after the procedure of fertilization? After the procedure of fertilization, uh, zygote is formed. Zygote is also known as a fertilized egg. Clear? Zygote is a double cell or diploid cell. Uh, it receives half number of chromosomes or genes from male gamete and other, other half number of chromosomes or genes from female gamete. That way, that we can say that zygote is a diploid cell or fertilized egg. It's a, uh, zygote is a structure which formed after fusion of male and female gametes. So, zygote after the division take place uh, in zygote, zygote convert into a ball-like structure and uh, completion ta uh, completely division take place in zygote, it convert into an embryo and embryo further development take place in uterus. When uh, inside the embryo or outside the embryo's organs is developed, we can say that embryo convert into a fully developed structure. This is known as a fetus. So fetus, it is a fertilizer developed into fetus. Who? Zygote. Zygote convert into embryo and embryo convert into fetus. This is the main difference between zygote, embryo and fetus. Uh, and fertilization takes place inside the fallopian tube. So what is the function of fallopian tube or oviduct where fertilization takes place? Thank you, student.